mercies and all they hold. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He turned May God the Most High who created the heavens and the earth be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, the church's supreme thanksgiving for blessing received is the offering of the Eucharistic sacrifice. And in the church's liturgy of the hours, this Eucharistic pray praise of God continues to the different parts of the day. In this way, the church teaches us to maintain and live in an attitude of gratitude to God. Therefore, let us now bless the Lord who has once again bestowed on us the fruits of the earth. Abel offered his first fruits to God. Let us also learn to share our blessings for the good of those in need, so that we may be true children of the Father who bestows his gifts for the benefit of all the peoples of the earth. We shall now listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses and the elders of Israel gave the people this command. If you faithfully obey the voice of Yahweh, your God, by keeping and observing all his commandments, which I am laying down for you today, Yahweh, your God, will raise you higher than any other nation of the world. And all these blessings will, be, will befall and overtake you for having obeyed the voice of Yahweh, your God. You will be blessed in the town and in the countryside. Blessed the offspring of your body, the yield of your soil, the yield of your livestock, the young of your cattle, and the increase of your flocks. Blessed your basket and your kneading trough. You will be blessed in coming home and blessed in going out. From you, Yahweh will make a people consecrated to himself, as he has sworn to you. If you keep the commandments of Yahweh your God and follow his ways. The peoples of the world, seeing that you bear Yahweh's name, will all be afraid of you. Yahweh will make you abound in possessions, in the offspring of your body, in yield of your cattle, and in the yield of your soil, in the country which he swore to your ancestors that he would give you. For you, Yahweh will open his treasure of rain, the heavens, to give your country its rains at the right time and to bless all your labors. The word of the Lord. Our response will now be, the earth has yielded its fruit, the Lord our God has blessed us. Please repeat, yielded its fruit, the Lord our God has blessed us. May God show kindness and bless us and make his face shine on us. Let the nations rejoice and sing for joy, for you judge the world with justice, you judge the peoples with fairness, you guide the nations on earth. Our response? The earth has yielded its produce. God. Our God has blessed us. May God continue to bless us and be revered by the whole wild world. Our response?
prayer of blessing. All powerful God, we appeal to your tender care that even as you temper the winds and the rains to nurture the fruits of the earth, you will also send upon them the gentle shower of your blessing. Fill the hearts of your people with gratitude that from the earth's fertility, the hungry may be filled with good things and the poor and needy proclaim the glory of your name. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us bless God forever. Let us praise and extol the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Introduction God, in his never-ending goodness, created a beautiful and perfect world and entrusted it to us to take care of it and reap a good harvest. Similarly, God has granted us with many gifts and rights, expecting that we will utilize them for the glory of his kingdom. Let us be thankful on this Thanksgiving Day for the countless blessings we have received from God. Today's Mass is offered with the following intentions. For the souls of Sister Devdatta Krasto, Lily D'Souza, Sophie De Silva, Mabel Montero, Angela Pereira, Diolinda Santos, John Santos, Pauline Campbell, Mary Rodericks, Mary Fernandez, Liguri Montero, all deceased members of Helpers of Mary, Souls in Purgatory, in honor of Mother Mary also in thanksgiving for all those who offered food for priests during the lockdown period. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, the Archdiocese of Bombay celebrates Thanksgiving Sunday. We just experienced one of the Thanksgiving forms of the blessing of the corn, which traditionally all the farmers of our city, which was once a farmland, offered it to the Lord. Let us offer in Thanksgiving all our lives. Let us offer in thanksgiving our skills. Let us offer in thanksgiving all that is best in our lives. Let us also acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries.
together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O Lord, good Father, who in your providence have entrusted the earth to the human race, grant, we pray, that with the fruits harvested from it, we may be able to sustain life, and with your help always use them to promote your praise and the well-being of all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Oi, Lewasab. 
इजाइया प्रवाद्याच्या पुस्तकांतले वाचप म्हज्या इश्टाक एक गीत गायता ताच्या दाका मळ्या विशीं म्हजे मोगा गीत गायता एका पिकाळ दोंगरार म्हज्या इश्टाचो एक दाका मळो आसलो ताणें तो कोंडलो आनी फातर काडून नितळ केलो आनी थंय उत्तम दाखवाली लायल्यो तांचे मदे ताणें एक बुरुज बांदलो आनी थंय कोळांबी तयार केली तो मळो ताका दाखो दितलो म्हणून तो आशेवन रावलो पूण ताणें दिल्ल्यो रानवट दाखो तर आता जेरुसलेमाच्या निवासियानो आणि जुदाच्या मनशानो मजे आणि मजा दाका मळ्यामध्ये नीत करा मजा दाका मळ्याक हवे आणि किते करूंक जाय असले आणि ते हाव करिनासता रावला तो मका बऱ्यो दाखो दितलो म्हणून हाव आशेवन रावलो पूण ताणें मका रानवड दाखो कित्याक म्हण दिल्यो तर आता मजा धाका मळ्याक हाव किते करूंक वेता ते सांगता हाव ताची वय काडतलो आणि तो सरव असो जागो जातलो तसो दोरो कस लावून घालतालो आणि तो पायांतळा मस्तून वेतालो हाव तो पाड जाऊंक सोडतालो कोणून सुतो बेंडसोना वा कणसोना तातूं झिलकुटां जाताली आणि कांटे कुंटे वाढताले खूप आणी ताचेर पावस घालिना जाऊ हाव तांकां आज्ञा दितालो दळबरांच्या सर्वेस्वरसो दाखा मळोस इज्रायलाचे गाराणे आणि जुदासो लोकूस ताचे आपुरबायेचे झाड तो न्यायनीतीची आशा धरून रावलो पूण ताका पळोंक मेळलो रक्तापात तो प्रामाणिकपणाची आशा धरून रावलो पूण ताका आयकोंक मेळली बोबाट देवाचे उतर हे देवाचे ओडुपकार We shall sing the response. The words are, The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the God of Israel. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. All together. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. You have bought a wine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. It stretched out its branches to the sea, to the river it stretched out its shoots. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by the way. It is ravished by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. the son of man you have claimed for yourself the vineyard of the lord of hosts is the house of israel and we shall never forsake you again give us life that we may call upon your name o lord god of hosts bring us back let your face shine forth and we shall be saved
संत पावला ने फिलिपे करास पाठले पत्र वाचन शांतिदाता देव तुम्हार बरबर राहल कशा विषय ही चिंता क्रांत हो तो सर्व गोष्टी विषयी प्रार्थना और विनंती करूँ आभार प्रदर्शनासह आपली मागणी देवाला कलवा मजे सर्व बुद्धि सामर्थ्या पलीक देवाने दिलेली शांति तुम्हें अंत करने तुमचे विचार ख्रिस्त येशूचा ठाई ही राखील बंधुनो शेवटी इतके संगतो कि जे का ही सत्य जे का ही आदरणीय जे का ही न्याय जे का ही शुद्ध जे का ही प्रशंसनीय जे का ही श्रवणीय जो का ही सद्गुण जी का ही स्तुति मनन करा मजापसन जे तुम्हें शिकला जे स्वीकार आणि माझे जे ऐकले पाहिले ते आचरित रहा म्हणजे शांतीदाता देव तुमच्या बरोबर सदैव राहील हा प्रभूचा शब्द आहे जय घोष आले लुया आले लुया हे प्रभू तुझे वचन हेच सत्य है तू आम सत्यात समर्पित कर आले लुया द लॉर्ड बी विद यू a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory be to you o lord at that time jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people hear another parable there was a master of a house who planted a vineyard and put a fence round it and dug a wine press in it and built a tower and leased it to tenants and went into another country When the season for fruit drew near he sent his servants to the tenants to get his fruit and the tenants took his servants and beat one killed another and stoned another again he sent other servants more than at first and they did the same to them finally he sent his son to them saying they will respect my son but when the tenants saw the son they said to themselves this is the heir come let us kill him and have his inheritance and they took him and drew him out of the vineyard and killed him when therefore the owner of the vineyard comes what will he do to those tenants they said to him he will put those wretches to a miserable death and let out the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the fruits in their seasons jesus said to them have you never read in the scripture the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone this was the lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes therefore i tell you the kingdom of god will be taken away from you and given to a people producing its fruits the gospel of our lord jesus christ praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus, jesus christ. christ i would like to share an anecdote an incident of a miser a man who was stringent and known to be a miser had collected 
everything that he had for himself. The money that he had was collected under his mattress and he never donated, he never had any sense of charity. All that he collected was collected for himself. He collected loads and loads of cash under his mattress. It so happened one day that he realized that he was about to die. And on his deathbed, he called his wife. And he said to his wife, that when I die, make sure that you collect all this money that is under the mattress and put it in my coffin. I want to take all my money that I have collected through my lifetime to the place where I go after my death. And so after a few days, this man died. And what do you think happened? The wife, very diligently and in obedience, collected all the money that was there under the mattress, put this money into her bank and wrote a check of that exact amount and put that check into his coffin. My dear brothers and sisters, this little anecdote just, sh just shows this aspect of possessiveness. I want to possess everything. And this possessiveness comes from selfishness and from greed. Because of our greed and selfishness, we want to possess everything, whether we need it, but we want everything. If you have a look at today's readings, we have something similar in today's gospel. The tenants wanted to possess the vineyard, the vineyard that did not belong to them. If you have a look at the first reading, which was today read in Konkani, it also had an expression of the vineyard. The vineyard in the first reading, the vineyard in the gospel reading. Basically, the vineyard represents Israel. In today's world, I would say this vineyard represents the church, you and me, or to, ex to the extent, the whole world. In the first reading, the vineyard is represented in a way that the vineyard owner did everything to do the best that he get the best out of this vineyard. So he goes in do and does a good research, purchases the land and does everything and that needs to be done to get good crops. Now from a little research if you would want to go the place that we are talking about in the Israeli province, crops that were grown were various other crops but grapes. Grapes were secondary crops, which means we did not get the fertile land reserved for the grapes. Grapes were grown on the hillside, which also meant that the hillside would be rocky and stony. So this landowner or the vineyard owner took the initiative to research the land, which would be the best land on this hillside to grow grapes. What makes it more being on the hillside? He had to make terraces. And because of making these terraces, a lot of rocks had to be shifted here and there, which means a lot of money was involved, a lot of capital invested, and a lot of manpower that he had to hire. But he made sure that he made the best vineyard. He also built a hedge. The hedge made sure 
that the fencing was strong, no wild animals or even thieves could come and rob the grapes. He also built a tower to make sure that he can keep a watch on it. Not only that, he went ahead and built a wine press so that he did not go to the market to press and get wine. And all this, my dear brothers and sisters, involved a lot of capital, a lot of investment, a lot of time and a lot of manpower. But this vineyard owner went and did all the hard work and he, he sowed the best the best of seeds. Also, a little bit of a research would, would uh, yield that grapes are not just grown as you sow. It takes a minimum of three years or even more. And once the grapes are set, you get a yield for the next 50 to maybe even 100 years. And that is the hard work that this vineyard owner took. And after all this hard work, what does he get? He gets just wild and sour grapes. And wait a minute. We are also talking about the vineyard in the gospel reading. Similarly, the vineyard owner did all that was done in the first reading. He did his research. He purchased the land. He made clear of all the rocks. He made sure that he sowed the best of best seeds and he had the best of best harvest. However, it was the tenants that he had kept on his own vineyard who betrayed him, who did not want to give the produce back to him. In spite of he sending the servants, they beat them, they killed them. He also went ahead and sent his only son, at least in this hope that they would respect his only son. But nothing like this happened. These tenants went ahead and killed his only son in the hope that they would be owners of this vineyard. Who does this tenants represent? These tenants, as per the scripture, were representing the chief priests and Pharisees. So what is it in for us? My dear brothers and sisters, I would say today these tenants represent us. If we have ignored God, we have want to possess this material goods, we have ignored the call of God. God has sent his prophets, his messengers, and what have we done to them? We have not listened to them. His, these messengers have come at various points in our lives to mend our lives, to give a message so that we can improve our lives. Have we improved our lives? No. We have gone ahead and shooed away these messengers. These messengers have challenged us. They have, with concern, shown us and guided us, but we have not followed them. Such a sad story because we have ignored God. And what is the result? We have now got saw and wild grapes. These saw and wild grapes basically represent the attitudes that we have. The attitudes that, we, that concern greed, anger, frustration, and all the negative attitudes that are filled with us. In spite of God giving us a good creation, he has, uh, he has given us the power to go forth and multiply. He has made us bearers of this fruit. In fact, he has made us good fruits. So what went wrong? Why, are, why have we gone astray? This question is something that we need to ask ourselves. Probably we have, with our greed, with our insensitivity, with our aspect of only possessing with selfishness, 
forgotten that God is the owner of every talent that has been given to me, that God is the owner of every skill that is with me. God has blessed me with, he has blessed me abundantly with good health. What have I done with it? Have I used my good health for the benefit of proclaiming God's word through my deeds, through my actions, through my words? I need to ask this question. If I have done this in the right manner, then I have been sending my gratitude to God. But many a times we have gone against it. And the second reading, which was read in Marathi today, gives us a manual of the answers of what and how we can be. It simply it means that we need to surrender ourselves in prayer. Saint Paul addresses the Philippines, but he is also addressing us. Can we surrender ourselves in prayer? If yes, we have got the manual to success. We have got this manual that we can experience the joys and happiness of life. And that is what we are looking forward to. This beautiful life that we have been given with good health, with all the skills and talents, and with everything that is around us, it has been given to us to enjoy. But we have to only remember that this is not ours. It belongs to our landowner, and that landowner is God himself. But he has given us a free hand to use the creation around us. He has given us a free hand to make use of our skills and talents of our good health to the best that we can. But what have we used it for? My dear brothers and sisters, we have killed the messengers that God has sent. We have gone ahead and killed his only son by not listening to him, by sinning, by going away from him. And that is what is the biggest mistake that we have done as tenants of this land. Can we change ourselves? By changing ourselves, by following the manual that St. Paul has given to the Philippians, by surrendering ourselves to God, by surrendering ourselves in prayer, we can express our gratitude to God. And by expressing our gratitude to God in the right sense, we can then say that today's day is indeed a thanksgiving day. My dear brothers and sisters, this Eucharistic table itself is a thanksgiving table. We have all gathered here before this Eucharistic table, but we need to remember this Eucharistic table has been offered by the sacrifice of Jesus, of God's Son himself. Because of his sacrifice, this beautiful Eucharistic table, this table of thanksgiving has been offered to us. And as we partake in this Eucharistic table, as we partake of the body and blood, as we partake of his word, it should get the change in us. And we should bear good fruits, fruits of abundance and fruits in plenty that gives us positive vibes that gives us an, a sense of living, a sense of reaching out through the virtues and values that Jesus himself lived with. By me receiving this body and blood of Christ, can I strive to be like Jesus himself? If I receive the body and blood of Christ, I have to be Christ-like. And how do I be Christ-like? Just go through the Word of God, through the Scriptures, through our Bible, and we get what we need or ought to be. We can simply be what Jesus did. He reached out to the oppressed. He stood up for injust against injustice and for justice. He stood up for the widow, for the orphan. He stood up for the marginalized. He reached out to help them, and that is what we are called to be. Can we reach out to all these? Can we reach out to the sick and the old? Can we reach out in good faith to all our people? If we are doing this, 
in our actions and in our words we are thanking and praising god in this true sense we are thanking and praising this eucharistic lord that we receive through this eucharistic table at every eucharist at every mass the celebration of this mass should not be futile the celebration of this mass should be filled with the eucharistic lord in ourselves during this lockdown period i was amazed to see how many of our parishioners came out to reach out to people who did not have groceries who do not who did not have their daily bread to eat it was many parishioners who came out and gave everything that they had they gave money they gave groceries they went house to house making sure that some that those who did not have had something to eat and drink that is something that it means that living the eucharistic lord is living in gratitude to the eucharistic lord and if we are living as per the virtues and the values of christ then believe me brothers and sisters we are living in gratitude to christ and this gratitude can be expressed in today's thanksgiving day my dear brothers and sisters i want you all to pause for a moment and think of one gratitude moment that you would do for god that you would do for christ by reaching out to someone maybe in the neighborhood maybe someone whom you know reaching out with your skills and talents if i am good at computers and someone is struggling with their online classes can i reach out with my skills if i have enough of finance can i reach out with to someone maybe with their groceries maybe with the ones who are struggling with uh, maybe laptops or mobiles for their online classes can i reach out to these people can i reach out to the old to the sick because even though the lockdown has been lessened we are still not completely out of it there are some in our parish in our neighborhood who are still struggling to get their daily bread especially the widows especially the sick especially the poor can i reach out to them i need to remind remind myself of just this image of god that jesus is the wine and i am the branches and jesus is the person who made clear water into wine amen let us all stand and profess our faith together i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the power of the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Amen. God invites us to reap a good harvest and bring forth good fruit, united in prayer. Let us confidently bring our prayers before him saying, "Loving Father, hear our prayer." Together, "Loving Father, hear our prayer." in gratitude for god's loving care we pray that he will guide our pope the bishops the clergy and the religious we pray to the lord loving, loving father, father hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer we pray for our world leaders and leaders of the church that they may use the powers vested in them 
to fulfill their responsibilities with honesty and integrity. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. We pray for our family members and our support system, for all those who make our lives easier and cater to our needs, especially those most in need of assistance during this COVID pandemic, that God will provide for them and ease their suffering. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. In gratitude for our parents, siblings, relatives, and friends, we pray for God's blessings upon them. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. We pray for all the members of the church that we may utilize our blessings and privileges for the glory of God's kingdom and for the benefit of others. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. We pray for the countless farmers who are going through hard times, that you provide us perfect seasons that improve our agricultural productivity and the new farmer's law that it benefit them with no hidden agenda. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. We pray for the children and the youth that they may strengthen their bond with their families and follow the teachings of the Catholic Church. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For our loved ones who have gone before us, we pray in gratitude that God might grant them eternal life in his presence. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal and local needs. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Almighty God, grant that we may be refreshed and nourished by the word which we have received and open to be transformed by it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. O Lord, who gave us your Son to rescue us graciously from death and from every evil, accept, we pray, in mercy the sacrifice which we offer you in thanksgiving for our deliverance from distress. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundation of the world and you and have arranged the changing of times and seasons, you formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and for every praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord and so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, 
grant that we who are, reckon, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may, come, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make, us, make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of a reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and also gracious our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and religious and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In thanksgiving, we offer the prayer that Jesus himself has taught us together. Our Father, in what in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, power, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed.
my spiritual communion o lord jesus since i cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence i beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever o jesus living in mary come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power in the communion of your mysteries in the perfection of your ways o divine guest give to my soul a strong lively faith an unbounded trust perfect humility and abiding sorrow for my sins a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and thanksgiving be every moment thine lord jesus thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion let us pray o god who have given to us as spiritual food the saving sacrament of your son which we have offered you in thanksgiving grant that being strengthened by gifts of courage and joy we may serve you more devoutly and may be worthy of still further blessings through christ our lord amen prayer for mercy from the corona virus almighty and merciful god you assure us that your hand is not too short to save nor your ear too dull to hear our prayer you have revealed that you are ever attentive to our supplications your children are under the grip of fear because of the fast spreading corona virus pandemic in the different parts of the world send the power of your word and calm the storms of fear and desperation father god take authority over this present crisis that your children may live in peace and security you are the lord who heals us heal those affected and strengthen their afflicted families give courage protection and comfort to the medical personnel taking care of the sick may your grace and comfort surround the dying and may their souls rest in peace holy spirit give wisdom and guidance to the scientists doing research that they may develop an effective medicine to combat the sickness speedily we pray for the government authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the world Lord Jesus we remember you said God so loved the world that he gave his only son that everyone who believes in him might not perish but have eternal life with the apostles we cry out to you Lord save us we are perishing let not this present crisis lead your children to fear and gloom let them rather turn their hearts to you finding their hope in you who is our refuge forever and ever amen please be seated for the announcements today we celebrate thanksgiving sunday the blessed corn will be kept near the gate during the day only one member from each family is requested to come and collect the corn 
the rosary across india is in progress the rosary is being recited daily at 6 pm at the church grotto by the various communities cells and associations requesting all parishioners to recite the rosary at home daily those parishioners who have given the names as nominees for the saint blaise community fund are requested to attend a meeting today at 11 am in the first floor church hall those wishing to donate towards church support are requested to drop the envelopes in the box kept at the gate or in the church of parish office those parishioners whose loved ones were buried in 2018 are requested to get in touch with the parish office at the earliest for the exhumation of the bodies at the parish pastoral council meeting held on saturday 15th august it was decided that all burials in temporary as well as permanent graves at saint blaise cemetery will be shroud burials the parish pastoral council meeting will be held on sunday 11th october at 11 am in the church first floor hall attendance is compulsory my dear parishioners of saint blaise amboli even in this challenge these challenging times during this pandemic the parish fathers have enough and more to thank god for blessing us with so many of his gifts and so this morning I begin with a question to you and to myself. Do you actually know who is the greatest saint in the world? Do you actually know who is the greatest saint in the world? It is not the one who prays the most. It is not one who fasts the most and it is not the one who sings the most. but it is that one amongst us who is always thankful to god who wills everything that god wills who receives everything as an instance of god's goodness and has a heart always ready to praise god for it could you therefore work miracles you could not do more for yourself than by this thankful spirit for it turns all that it touches into gold i have a long list to thank god in a very special way especially during this pandemic and so i ask you at the start of my thanksgiving to bear with me for the list is too long so on behalf of my parish team of fathers father vincent father victor father osman and not forgetting our newly added parish member cliffy fernandez the to be deacon for the archdiocese of bombay and soon a priest also for the archdiocese of bombay at the start i would thank god for the wonderful results that our school got this year the 100% results and the highest marks also goes to one of our parishioner arya fernandez so i thank god for this special grace in connection with our school i also thank god for the renovation work that went on so smoothly in the school for the parents the teachers and our parishioners who came with handful of their contribution so that we could change our building perhaps today which looks like a city school 
And many parishioners, many people, many visitors have said, our school today stands out on this Amboli Naka. I want to thank God for the many people who have put their hands together and has made what our school is all about today. In a very special way, I'd like to thank Sister Bindu and all our teaching and non-teaching staff of all our three sections, the secondary, the primary, and the KG. In a special way, I'd like to thank my parish team. In this pandemic, in these challenging times, as I said earlier, God has really blessed all of us with nothing serious that has taken place in these six months. God has kept us healthy. I cannot say wealthy, but at least happy with all that we have together. I often talk about a team. Together, everyone achieves more. And God has indeed blessed me as parish priest to have lovely people on our team. And Cliffy has added to our team his vibrancy and his dynamic character has added to our happiness. In a special way, I thank an anonymous donor for gifting our parish church with one lakh rupees. When asked, he doesn't want his name to be proclaimed all around the countryside, but said to the clerical staff, this is my contribution to St. Blaise Church, Amboli. So I need to thank him in a very, very special way on this Thanksgiving Day. We, had, we have had a number of donors, contributors, who have donated from their within, from the heart, especially during this lockdown. And on behalf of my parish team, I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. They did not stop there. Many of our parishioners came out of the way. They brought food for the fathers, groceries for the parish fathers during this lockdown. And they would phone us time and again, Father, do you need anything for the parish? Do you need anything? I'm going to this mall or that mall. I can pick up things for you. It was indeed great on the part of many, many of our parishioners. PPC members, and in particular Sister Metilda, for distributing food hampers during the lockdown. The St. Blaise Community Fund team, for their assistance to distribute the dole, medical funds, and other necessary items to the protégés earlier taken care by the SVP. It's already three months that the church now takes care of all the protégés and we have been giving them all that they need to carry on their life's journey. In particular, I would like to thank the Crisis Committee and the co-team of the Crisis Committee, which emanates from the Parish Pastoral Council members to solve various problems of the parish, especially during the lockdown. They have been with the parish fathers at any time, at our beck and call. We had a number of meetings, but the crisis committee has stood by the parish team of fathers, and I want to thank them and ask God to bless them abundantly. All our communities, cells, associations, for coming regularly to conduct and pray the rosary at the church grotto during the rosary across India. All the lectures, the cantors, for the online masses. In particular, I want to thank Father Osman for taking all the trouble and for bringing youngsters to the altar where I had never seen their faces in the past. We have given important role for them so that they could be part of the liturgy week after week. Noel Gonsalves for the altar decor during the lockdown and the online masses. The technical and publicity team of Lloyd Matthews, Melroy Fernandez, and Coretta Fernandez. It is only because of them we could reach out to our parishioners 
near and far away. All online viewers and subscribers of the St. Blaise Church, Amboli Ch Channel, and for your valuable and inspiring comments. On the feast of our patron, St. John Marie Vianney, we thank in a very special way all our parish pastoral council members, the Noah's Ark, the Sunday School, and the Confirmation by making it meaningful online programs in the current pandemic situations. And they did not only stop there. They went out of the way for providing food on different occasions to the parish fathers. Children, lectors, cantors for the novena and feast of the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Sponsors of the grocery, food coupons to the poor of our parish in the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. On the 1st of September, 8th of September, and the 27th of September, all roads led to the parish church. Father Vincent, Father Osman, and myself were amazed to see so many people turning their steps to the parish house to wish us on the occasion of our birthdays. And they never came empty-handed. They came with gifts, they came with food, they came with cakes, and most of all, they came and spend special time with the fathers on our birthdays. The birthday of Father Vincent on the 1st of September, my birthday on the 8th of September, and Father Osmond's birthday on the 27th of September. On behalf of my parish team, I sincerely thank these people for making time for the parish fathers. In fact, they showed us in action that they care for their parish clergy. And I think the pandemic is the best time to know who really cares for you. And all these people, my special prayer for you and my special blessings on each one of you. Those parish pastoral council members for encouraging and submitting the names of nominees for the SBCF team. The meeting will be held tomorrow at 11 o'clock and then we will choose seven candidates to be members of the SBCF team of St. Blaise Church, Amboli. And finally, we also thank the parishioners who arranged corn for this Thanksgiving Mass. Someone sent me a lovely WhatsApp message, Father, our Thanksgiving Sundays all these years and our Agera celebration were great, but nevertheless, we have done in a little way to bless the corn and to celebrate God's way of looking after us this Thanksgiving day. On behalf of my parish team of fathers, Father Vincent, Father Victor, Father Osmond, and Cliffy, I wish you a very, very, very happy Thanksgiving day, which we celebrate today in the Archdiocese of Bombay. God bless you today, tomorrow, and all the days of your life. Thank you once again. I once again wish all the viewers, both of this parish and all the others who are viewing this Mass right now, a happy Thanksgiving Day. Also would like to remind you, in this pandemic, keeping all the norms of safety, your social distancing, clean hands and everything, but make time to have at least one meal as a family, of thanking each other in the family, thanking your neighbors and thanking everyone who means something in you. But yes, do not forget to thank God and spend time in prayer, in gratitude, to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
Each day I'll sing of thy praise and glory. 